Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and joining the revolution once again from Denton, Texas, Apogee Stadium here in North Texas as we present to you another great night of professional wrestling action combined with professional football. We're on the 50-yard line here and we're going to see some tremendous action tonight. It is Saturday Night Lights hosted by Matt Stryker. This is college football, not professional, but we'll see professional wrestling as the Von Erichs and Iceman King Parsons along with Lacey Von Erich take on the Arrow Club with the returning Tatanka. We're also going to see ladies in action. Robin Reed faces Sahara Seven tonight, but we're going to open up with a championship match, the revolutionary title on the line. It is Damon Windsor defending against the undefeated retro Randy Price. Could Randy walk away champion tonight? This has been the moment that Randy has been waiting for. He has been wanting this match for quite some time as he's felt like this undefeated streak has deserved it. I'm sorry, I spoke over you there, Matt Striker. My apologies. Here comes the challenger, Retro Randy Price. Gonna take it back old school and hopefully take it back as a champion when this match is over. At least that's what he definitely wants. Randy Price has put together an undefeated streak in singles action. And Randy always so popular here with all the fans, no matter where we are, whether it's Texas, Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas, Oklahoma, wherever world class goes, Randy Price knows how to make that connection with the fans. Absolutely, Retro Randy here is looking to make Damon Windsor an old school sucker here tonight. Randy Price. Oh, no, he's, he's showing the moves that he was taught by the coach, Gary Toole. But it, uh, the fun and games are all about to be over. The second son, Damon Windsor, along with the uh, mysterious Anna Lynn. That, that, that just... I swear, every time you say that, I think it almost hurts you to say that about Anna Lynn. And this is a marvelous woman. But the one thing you forgot to say is he is revolutionary champion. Well, there's no question his, his lengthy title reign here as Windsor preceded by Anna Lynn to the ring here, putting the revolutionary championship on the line. And as I've said on many occasions before, but we have seen Damon Windsor defend that championship against so many different competitors. He has found one way or another to survive, to escape with the championship. But in many of those ways, it's not exactly been a, method, a situation where he has been the definitive winner. He has just uh, found I'm a sorry. way to. I'm to sorry, walk he's away still champion, isn't well, he? He is still champion. Then stop making excuses because it doesn't matter if you want to say definitive or not. The point is, is he's still champion, which makes him the definitive champion. Damon Windsor holding that championship aloft, using it as a symbol to ind indicate how much better he is. And Matt Stryker calling for the bell as Windsor hands the title belt over to Anna Lynn. You can see referee James Beard reaching for that championship belt himself, but yeah, we definitely Windsor know. always puts it in the clutches of Anna Lynn. We know for one thing's for certain right here that we can determine, and this match hasn't even begun. You know what that is? Is that Stryker needs to learn that it's the referee that signals for the bell. Well, he can't just simply tell them to ring the bell. Anna Lynn was still in the ring. That's true, and she does need to vacate the premises. We saw last week just how uh, a, a woman's uh, interaction in a match could potentially cost her man a match. And yeah, but Anna Lynn has been around long enough. She knows better. Oh, what now? What, what, what does Windsor do? She's, he's calling Anna Lynn back up. 
Oh, okay, it's a moment here. So it's, Give him yeah, a, moment. a moment. Yeah, it's it's a creepy moment. It is not a creepy moment. You what, think what prayer are they is doing? creepy? I mean, is that prayer they're doing? Or is it? Are they communicating telepathically? What, what's? Is that some sort of hey. like an Eskimo kiss? I can't tell what's going on. There. Are you are you insulting this man's belief? No, I'm just. Are you throwing shade at this man's wisdom? Because quite frankly, he's definitely in a better position than you. Well, that's what he would say. That's true. What do you mean that's what he would say? Because he believes he's in a better position than all of us. And if all of us would just follow him and do as he says, that he could lead us all to greatness and glory. And I don't think that that's what most of the fans here believe. Well, we know that you thinking has put you where you're at these days. All right, collar and elbow tie-up tempted there earlier. And now back to it as Price trying to force Windsor back to the corner. That's not going to work because Windsor definitely the size and weight advantage, the leverage advantage. I would venture to say the power game as well. Not certainly. just the size and weight, but he's got the power. He knows how to use both of those things to execute that power advantage. And Windsor also with the experience advantage, although only by a couple of years. But that's still plenty in, in, in this game. Oh, As wow. Bryce, though, Bryce with a quick left jab. Ducks underneath and again with a Gillette. Oh, and right. it follows up with a right cross, too. Big combinations there, but Windsor going to grab him, throw him, literally throw him into the corner. Going to try for the big forearm. He misses that, and Price now taking advantage of the opportunity. Punches and jabs all over with the body of Damon Windsor. Well, this is a big match for both guys. Damon Windsor's revolutionary titles on the line, but Retro Randy's undefeated singles streak is at stake as well. And Windsor now going in for the pin. Only good enough for two, though. Windsor, though, cool, calm, and methodical as Price trying to fire up here. Going to try to keep pressing that advantage, which is one big strike from Windsor. Really rocking Randy's world and not the way he usually wants it rocked. Windsor charging in, but nobody home. Price going to gain that distance, going to charge in himself. You can see him flailing the arms, but they did make connection. Just barely, though, as we see Randy, though, he's following it up with one more clothesline. He has Windsor hooked, but only for a second. Go for the Bulldog, but instead a sidewalk slam by Damon Windsor. And Windsor now in for the pin. One, two, but a relatively non-traditional pin, not really putting his whole body weight over Price. And I don't think we've seen Windsor do this before. It's like almost an, an overestimation of the damage that he's done to his opponent. And it oftentimes prolongs these matches, perhaps. Prolongs them, or is he just being, is he being cerebral about this match? I would tend to think he's being cerebral. I know you would like to think otherwise, and you don't want to give this man the credit he deserves. But David Windsor has been... Oh, look, look, look right there, look right there, Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn digging her fingernails in the eyes of Randy Price. And don't to make up some excuse, don't come up with some sort of creative thing about what she was doing. There's no denying what you just saw there, Travis. I mean, all I saw is that she was just putting the face right into her hand, trying to impart wisdom, that that Windsor wisdom on top of Retro Randy. I, I should know better by now, okay. Well, we, again, we said earlier and we established that you thinking is what got you to where you are. So, now, Damon Windsor is right back to work on what he should be on Retro Randy. And now, look at that, he's just oh, hurting Randy. Huge field throw, and price his body like a rag doll tossed all the way across the ring as Windsor chose the crowd, the power in the palm of his hand. Where it's been from the start. But Price still not dying. Price still trying to fight back. Mm, no avail there as he just got, he got thrown straight back down and a nice stomp to the back. Simple and effective. Now he's trying to impart some of that more of that wisdom that Windsor wisdom on the North Texas now, crowd. You say in part the wisdom, it was more to me like a, a demand as he was telling the crowd to bow down as if they're supposed to worship him. The wisdom, that's what I'm talking about there. If they would just listen to his wisdom, then it would be to their benefit. This chin lock here by Windsor, not as effective as he would like as Price able to get that vertical base underneath him. 
Shots to the midsection break that hole as Windsor off the ropes. I mean, Price off the ropes. Price off the ropes. Windsor not sure where he's coming or going from. And a big leaping forearm. Price going to come over. Hooks the leg. And not quite two out of it. As Windsor way too close to the ring ropes anyway. He could easily have broken the hold that way. Now Price back in the middle. Going to have to continue. He knows that if he can continue to, to punch Damon Windsor around the head, that seems to be the weak area that he has found. Oh, nice drop kick there. Take that height advantage away. Going to hook the DDT and drive Windsor's head straight into the mat. Oh, that could be it. Price over. Price with the cover. One. Oh, what's, what's the... Oh, Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn saving her man and saving the match. As she holds the Revolutionary Championship again, why is she allowed to keep control of that? Well, why is Randy... Neutral corner? Why is Randy paying any attention? Oh, look out! Woo! Almost an unfortunate collision there. Oh, oh, it was a kind of fight collision. Price rolling up. O'Connor roll. Two. Oh, he got it. He got it. Did he get it? He did. He did. James Beard handing the championship to Randy Price. He did. He got it. Wow. Rand Retro Randy, the undefeated streak continues as Randy Price has become the revolutionary champion. Unbelievable, that quick second, that momentary mishap by Anna Lynn cost Damon Windsor the revolutionary title. And the era of retro goodness now begins as the revolutionary championship Solidly in the hands of Randy Price. Damon Windsor has got to be beside himself. The plan's completely backfiring. But we got a new revolutionary champion. Fans, we've still got more to come. We're going to take a break and be back after this.